My name is John Pope. I'm a cinematographer based out of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I primarily shoot documentaries and commercials. Blood Brother is a film about what it's like to leave your comfortable life in the United States and give everything you have to over 30 HIV positive orphans in India. From the moment we arrived in India, we knew that there were going to be challenges, both physically, emotionally, mentally. So we went over with 5D and two 7Ds, a couple of Canon Vixias. So that was fun just to be able to give the kids the cameras and they would have fun with it. They would shoot the crew from time to time. I think it bridged the gap between us Americans and their culture. The quicker you can develop a relationship with your subject, the more genuine responses you're going to get. When they seize up, you don't have sincerity. You don't have the genuine glimpse into their life that you came for. And that whole trip over to wherever you may be going is useless. This is the good old 5D Mark II, full 1080p video, interchangeable lenses, 23.98. I captured some of the most important things I've ever shot in my life with this camera. Really loved the look, really loved the form factor, especially with it being small, inconspicuous. I tend to get frustrated when cameras get really big. Keeping it as simple as possible allows me to react quickly. I can adjust my exposure quickly on the fly. I can manage it on my own. In a documentary environment, you have to respond quickly. You're always reacting. If you don't have a tool that's serving that, then you're in trouble and you're missing important story content. <laughs> For Blood Brother, we shot a lot of exteriors. India has got the blaring sun. So I would use like a Zakudo eyepiece and it was fantastic made shooting exteriors in broad daylight very easy. It also was another point of contact, kind of steady myself. If I need to get something inconspicuous, so I shoot from the hip, we'll use tripods from time to time. Stylistically, sometimes nothing's better than just a lockdown shot. You got great content right in front of you and the lens that's got life to it. The directors that I work with have really grown to like a lot of static shots. We use Canon glass, all L-series lenses, the 24 to 70 because of its versatility. It's a fast lens for a zoom. Uh, I've shot so much on it. So then occasionally the 70 to 200 because you just can't beat it. You need to get in there, you need to move quick. IS, 2.8. Right now my current favorite is the 35, 1.4. I love it. I love its field of view in several aspect ratios. No distortion, it's just a very versatile lens. The 5D's ability to capture in low light, I felt good going up to ISO 1250. I work in full stop increments from 160 to 320 to 640 to 1250. There were times that we shot at ISO 6400 with a 50 millimeter 1.2, just because there was no light. It was just pitch black. I'm okay with that. Like I'm okay with shooting at that ISO in order to capture a story with a little image degradation versus having no story, no image. In my opinion, what makes the 5D unique is its sensor size. At the time, I think we just used like a neutral setting, maybe dialed down the sharpness a little bit, the saturation. Another documentary I did called The Saxman, we shot primarily with the C300, that was our A cam, but we couldn't afford to have another camera, so we brought on the 5D Mark II and used the Technicolor preset to match the Canon C-Log. Actually did a really good job in post. The image quality, that comes with a camera that's as small as this. I mean, that's, come on, it's phenomenal. Seeing Blood Brother at Sundance Audience Award, to me, that's more important than anything because it spoke to people and it moved them to tears, it moved them to joy, and yeah, it's pretty amazing.